All right, this is Movie Maker, but we are going to use Movie Maker for something other than making movies. We're going to make uh, an audio show or project and uh, using nothing but either recorded sounds or uh, pre-recorded sound effects. And I'm going to show you those things just quickly on Movie Maker. But again, because we are using Movie Maker to do strictly audio, we can start to mess around with our screen setup. And again, because we're not really using video, we can actually start to resize some of these work area um, borders here. So if I grab this sort of line there, I can resize parts of my screen and make it so that I can get a good view of this line here, the audio slash music track. That's where we're going, to, we're going to be doing a lot of our work. Now, once you've got that set up and you're happy with the way uh, things are on your screen, it's time to bring in some audio. And there's two sources uh, that you can use or refer to to get some audio into your project. The first one is to actually import audio that has uh, that you currently have saved either in a folder or somewhere on your computer or on an external drive and you do that by going to capture video and you're gonna go down to the fourth item there import audio or music clicking on that will then open up your typical sort of uh, search box and you can then go ahead and navigate to the file folder that has uh, sound effects so if I go uh, to my desktop and I know where I've kept my sound effects folder. It will be in a different place for you, so it will be uh, where they are currently saved. And your teacher can tell you that. I've got my sound effects here, and I can click on that. And then um, this is assuming I already know what sound effects I want to put in there. Obviously, if you uh, you know still need to sort of determine what sounds you're going to want to use, uh, you probably want to go and just sort of go into the folder uh, using either Windows Media Player or VLC Player and just start opening up different sounds and seeing which ones work best for you and then making a note of it and at that point come into Movie Maker and follow these steps and then start importing the sounds that you want so in this case let's say I have uh, the impacts there and I want to import a sound effect from this folder I can then choose the one that I want if I really wanted to I could actually right click it and have it play again just to double check that I've got the right one but let's say this is the right one I want I can then go ahead and click import and that will bring it back into Movie Maker and add it to my collections and what will start to happen is as you start to add in more and more sound effects you'll start to build up a, a small collection here and then at that point what I can then do is just drag it and drop it onto this line down here and after this this really starts to look and work like you uh, as if you were working with video so I can then uh, drag and drop the clip uh, move it around if I had other clips around it rearrange the order of different sounds um, if I right click on the cl audio clip itself I have the option to start playing around with stuff like fading in and fading out that audio clip, uh, adjusting the volume of that audio clip. Similar to what we could do with a video, if I uh, hover the mouse or the cursor just around the ends of the uh, audio clip here, I also have the uh, option to resize a clip so I can cut down the ends and resize them so they're slightly smaller. I can transition between the clips and overlap them if I wanted to. And like that. If I wanted to split a clip, I could also do that as well um, by moving the um, indicator line there or the marker line and then clicking on this symbol over here underneath the preview screen. That allows me to split it. And now I've taken that one audio clip and split it into half or into two pieces. All right. And that's basically, basically the same kind of things that you could do when you, as if you're working with video. So that's one way uh, is to actually go in and import audio that currently exists 
on a thumb drive or on your hard drive or in a folder somewhere on your computer. The other way is to actually re record the audio yourself using the microphone that is attached to your computer. And to do that, you're going to go to this icon here, which is the microphone. And if you click on that, that will open up a new window. And what you should see then is this screen here. And hopefully, if everything's set up correctly, you should see this little indicator bar here uh, start to sort of react depending on, uh, you know, if it's picking up audio through the microphone. So as I'm speaking, it's obviously picking my voice up. So you can see that it's starting to, to react to that. If you don't, you are you are going to have to go over here and start looking for the appropriate device. So the audio imports uh, input source, you're going to want to make sure that you've got the appropriate one selected. Um, and in terms of the audio device, if you've got a snowball mic, you might want to select that here. Again, it's going to be a little bit of tinkering back and forth between these two fields until you've actually got it working and you'll know you've got it working when this starts to light up. Now once that is up and running and it's working, all it is after that is just to start the narration which basically starts the recording process. Once you're done, hit stop narration and after that go ahead and click done and then that will basically import the sound that you've just recorded into your project. And that is the second way that you can then get audio into your audio project in Movie Maker. Now, very similar to the process that you'd use when, it, when you were editing video, when it's time to finish or uh, finalize your project, you are going to want to save it to my computer. And then after that, it is literally you determining where you're going to have it saved. Uh, you then get to determine the, the uh, format of the file. Uh, and again, because this is audio, it's probably going to be either an MP3 or a WMA uh, uh, or a WAV file. But uh, again, that will be something that you will get to determine when it opens up here. So I've got my save movie file options there. I get to browse and determine where I want it saved. Enter a file name. Once I've done that, I can click Next. Okay, so once you get to this next screen, it's just a matter of just ensuring that it is selected for best quality for playback on a computer. Click Next. And that will now save your video, or sorry, your audio file in the location that you specified when you first started the rendering process or saving it to my computer process. Afterwards, go ahead and click Finish. And you're done. As always, throughout the whole entire process, do make sure that you are clicking Save and you're sa saving your work constantly because you just never know.